What's up, Sensi fans? It's Patricia. Today is another week of Tester Tuesday, a spot where Sensi addicts unite to hear about scents. So I always talk about the two top scents from the previous week's voting. Last week we had 281 votes. So let's talk about our first place scent for the week. It is Gimme Candy. Now this one is a kind of like a bright, vibrant orange colored wax, and orange was my favorite color as a child. This one had 40% of your vote, so almost everyone voted for Gimme Candy plus another scent. So on Cold Sniff, I would say this is between medium and medium plus, and this is scent of the month coming up for September in Scentsy, and Scentsy has put this in the bakery section. So the scent description says, a sweet confection of caramelized sugar, golden honey, and sweet buttercream makes for the ultimate sugar rush. So it definitely is sweet. They've highlighted that it's sweet, it's sugary. Yes, it is. On Cold Sniff, when I first smelled this, and I will put the first impression video that I did of this scent, I thought it smelled like a caramel with candy corn that had fallen into a gooey caramel. And I still kind of think that, but after warming and kind of getting a little bit better acquainted with the scent, it really reminds me of a slightly creamy butterscotch chippets. You know those butterscotch chips that you can add to cookies? There's also a dessert that you can make butterscotch chippets and mix it with a peanut butter and marshmallow and you get that treat. Anyway, this is the butterscotch chippets with a creaminess to me. So I did warm this in two spots. So this is my full bar, but I did warm seven cubes worth. So the first spot I warmed it was my entranceway, which is a mini warmer, the Chasing Fireflies mini warmer. And that has a kind of like a long skinny area and it did very well there. Starting off at max, it was about eight out of 10 on strength. And the throw was pretty good as well. And the first day it did very, very well. Now as the day was ticking on around hour 10, 11, I smelled like a little bit more vanilla cookie crunch kind of tone creeping in. And around hour 15, I could smell what I interpreted as a little bit of that burnt sugar kind of tone that you kind of got out of that scent, oh, what's it called? spun sugar and vanilla. Now that scent had a pink sugar undertone. This does not have that, but that underlying kind of caramelized sugar that I got. And I didn't love that part, but it was still okay. Now I left it going the first day, 24 full hours. I turned it off. I revisited it a couple days later and I left it going for another 12 hours. Now that second day when I kind of started it up again, it was probably like four or five out of 10. It just kind of hummed along. You walk by and you get little whiffs of the, the butterscotch creamy caramel. It was quite lovely. I didn't mind the burnt thing because it kind of melded all together and it didn't jump out at me. So yeah, about two days, 36 hours in my mini warmer. So then I took the other six cubes that you see missing and I put it in my open layout because I thought, well, it did so well there. Let's try it in the big challenging area. So I had maximum strength and throw between eight and eight and a half. So that's really, really good for my big area. I have ceilings that are open to the second floor and it's a really big spacious zone. So I left it going there. I started at six o'clock in the morning because I do get up really early and I left it going till five. So that's 11 hours. And it was really strong for maybe the first five or six hours. And then it kind of did taper off. But I really, really like this. It's gonna be something that I have to be in the mood for. Now, it's very sweet. It's actually a great mixer. You could mix this with a lot of different things. When I talked about that dessert, that's mixed with the peanut butter and the marshmallows. This would go really nice with graham cracker crunch, I think. It would also sweeten up scents that are not so sweet. So I might try three thumbs up because I thought that was almost like a bread style bakery. I might try a very spicy scent like clove and cinnamon or autumn sunset. And one of my viewers suggested welcome home. There's a lot of different ways you can go with this. You could mix it with a sugar cookie or vanilla bean buttercream as well, but those are tending on the sweeter side. The one scent that reminded me the most after warming it was this scent. Caramel sugar cookie. That's what it reminded me of. It's different, but it's it's got that butterscotch tone that that one had closest. Yeah, this is more like butterscotch <laughs> met a candy corn candy. So I think if you like this, it would be a great fall and winter scent, more appropriate than spring and summer, but you can pick and choose when you're gonna warm scents. Now this would probably do well in any area of your home. I wouldn't put it in a bathroom personally, and I probably won't warm it here in my bedroom, but I think any other space, even if you have an open concept, I think it will stand up. Keeping in mind in an open concept, 
it only lasted about a third of the time because the scent diffuses and dilutes. Now I only used one and a half cubes per warmer, but anyway, I'd prefer to use less wax and change it out more often. That's just my approach. So I love that I can smell it almost right away in the warmers. I love that I can mix with it. I love that it's versatile. So will this be a repurchase for me? Yes. I won't stockpile, but I'll definitely give some, give me candy some love. All right, so let's talk about our second place scent for the week. It is called Orange Amber. Now you'll see from the tester, these are old style testers. Here's the color of the wax, a nice, nice vibrant dark orange color. This one at 18% of the vote. Here are my testers besides the other one that you see here. This is a light to medium intensity fragrance. It's a fall and winter scent. It was first available in the fall and winter catalog of 2014. Then it came back in the fall and winter of 2015. So as you will see, these testers have the old style packaging and I just grabbed some autumn sunrise and these ones came into effect around 2015. Oops. <laughs> we always say it's not a video if you don't drop something. So these ones are probably from 2014. So we're gonna factor that in into the you know, analysis of the scent. So let's read the scent description. It says an alluring blend of bitter orange and clementine, exotic wild ginger, cozy cardamom, and sultry amber. All right, to me, this is kind of like a deep, dark orange scent with a little bit of spices. And one of my viewers said it reminded her of Satsuma. So look, I have some Satsuma vendor wax that I rescued from the warmer as I was melting it. I said, oh, I should use that. And yes, this is a tiny bit brighter and this is the orange amber is a tiny bit deeper and maybe the amber is doing that, but I really don't smell amber. I smell a spice medley. And when I first smelled it, I thought maybe there's clove, a little bit of ginger and allspice. And in reading it, there's no clove, and there's no allspice, but there's ginger. So it's, it is different than our current sips of cider. That is a little bit brighter with the lemons and other citrus scents. And this one just has a more deeper, tone. It's sweet. It's very nice. I really like this. So let's talk about performance. So I had these four testers here and I put uh, the equivalent. I put these three in my bedroom here. Strength and throw at most was five out of 10. I left it going 15 hours one day. It just didn't have the strength and stamina. Now these are, I think, eight or nine years old. So we got to factor that in. If we had fresh testers, I suspect that th this would be quite a bit stronger. So I, I took this particular tester and put it in Ryan's room. It was about four out of 10 there and I left it going 11 hours and then I decided to cut my losses. But I think when I kind of looked back and I, I said, yes, it definitely smells like Satsuma and I grabbed a bunch, I think the, and as well as Autumn Sunrise, I think the one that's closest to without the tree is Wasail Wonderland. So if you can picture that and you can take out that tree note, then you might kind of get orange amber. So I think that depending on the accuracy of the tester strength, I think you could probably warm this in most areas of your home. I think it would be a little bit stronger if it's a fresh tester. Would I be repurchasing orange amber if, if it was around now or would I vote it back? I think the thing about Scentsy is they're always coming out with an orange spice scent and I'm usually okay with everyone that is currently available, but I did really enjoy this one. I just wish it was stronger and maybe it is stronger. I just had old testers. So that is orange amber. All right, let's move to the portion of the video. I'm gonna draw some scents. You guys are gonna vote. You vote for two different scents by early Wednesday morning down in the YouTube comment section. If you can't vote on YouTube, find my Instagram post and put your two votes there. It's Patricia Gates. So for scent number one, I have a LTO, which stands for limited time offer scent that I just received. And I did smell it, it smells nice. <laughs> and it's Scooby-Doo Zoinks. So that is scent number one. And let's go, in set number two, we're gonna pick an old an old style Bring Back My Bar. This is not necessarily returning. I'm just trying to use these up. So this next one, oh, this one is coming back in January. I didn't know it was in my basket. Melon and Apple Granita. So that's set number two. Sorry, I didn't mean to get so excited. <laughs> set number three, way in the back. Oh, this is a lot of testers. This is Gleeful Grape. Let's go with my old, I do have some older ones here. Let's go right here. Set number four. I'm trying to use up some of these older ones, but don't feel pressured to vote for them. So set number four is Amber Road. Set number five is Simply Cinnamon. And set number six is Dominica. I don't even know if that's how you say it, but. <laughs> 
So yeah, thanks for spending the last few minutes with me. I hope you find this video series helpful. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to vote and I will see you in the next video.